Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you uh, some tips and techniques for assembling your parts for the flat 3D project. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new assembly and I'll insert some parts from the part studio I was working in. So on the design that I did, I made uh, one front panel and one side panel, but I'm actually going to insert the front panel twice and I'm going to insert the side panel twice as well. That's because in my design I made uh, sides and uh, front panels that will work for both sides and both the front and back. Obviously your design may be different, but if you're using uh, if you're using that same technique where you make one part and you'll need to insert it multiple times, this is where you can do that. So I've got my four parts inserted. I'll click the green check and then I'm just going to move my parts uh, sort of out of the way a little bit so it's easy to see all of them together. Now. I want to fix one of these parts in space that'll make things a little bit easier to assemble to. So I'll grab this first one right here in the, in the instances list, and I'm going to right click or on a Chromebook alt click and choose fix so that this is fixed in space, just like we usually do with an assembly. Now assembling with the finger joints or a tab and slot um, is basically just like we've done for other things, but there is one technique I'd like to show you that'll make this a little bit easier. Uh, because we've got the uh, we've got these fingers and they don't necessarily have a mate connector in the middle of the actual finger itself, uh, that can make uh, assembling these a little bit tricky sometimes. So what I suggest you do instead is actually use the uh, the top corner of your part and, and mate that to the top corner of the other part. So here's what I mean. Uh, this is that back panel that I fixed in space. I'm gonna choose this mate connector that is on the top corner here, and then I'm gonna orbit around and find the matching mate connector on the top part, of, on the top corner of this part right here. So I've gotta kinda of move around to make sure I'm getting the one that's oriented correctly, and that's the mate connector I want. So you can see as I orbit around and I zoom back a little bit that those two parts have now mated correctly. So I'm good to go there. I can click the green check. Now because I've clicked that green check, it's asking me if I wanna do another fastened mate. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and click on the mate connector on the top corner here on this part that we just put in. And let me get oriented where I can see that a little bit more easily. Uh, sometimes those mate connectors can take a second uh, where you get the until you can get the part oriented to be able to find it easily. And that looks good right there. There's that mate connector that's on that front corner, it looks like. I'm going to orbit around and find the one on this part down here. And I believe this is correct right here. Let me, uh, let me find that part right there. Yeah, there we go. It should be good. Cool. So as I zoom back around and orbit around, we can see we've got those ones mated together. And so the process of assembling these parts is um, is just a matter of continuing to follow through and add all of the mates that you need. I hope that this helps as you're assembling your flat to 3D parts.